This is a very simple conditioning circuit, and the reason I put it on the side is because it is so simple, it doesn't require a lot of equipment. This is a, a core exercise uh, for both back and abs, and a little bit of support strength within the, the shoulder girdle. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, and you, all these things are going by time. So we had, what, nine players, so they go from station to station. Uh, based on time and generally you know it's uh, 45 seconds to 60 seconds here's just a, a, a simple bench press uh, this is a, a walking lunge to develop core strength as well as uh, the obvious leg and uh, and hip flexor uh, strength and you could have any any weight that the the athletes holding either above their head or uh, dumbbells below the waist. I think above the head is a, is a little bit better. You know, these are these are planks uh, for core strength. You want to make sure the back stays straight. On this, this is a weighted ball um, where we're working a little bit on on core strength, shoulder strength, where the athlete throws the ball down into the floor, uh, catches it, and then and then repeats the motion. So it's a it's an entire upper body as well as hip flexor uh, drill. Again, another core exercise uh, more for the, for the abs um, than, than anything else. And again, a very simple exercise. Um, the next exercise, I think we really want to make sure we're focusing on, on, uh, on technique in terms of, you know, obviously hit and go. We want to make sure that the athlete's knees stay, stay bent and we want to make sure they're landing lightly on the, on the uh, box and then immediately jumping off. Uh, not a lot of, uh, you know, heavy landings in, and then, uh, you know, a slow takeoff. Uh, good morning exercise. Keep the back straight. Don't go past 90 degrees. And again, the weight that is being used is, is certainly negotiable based upon the athlete's strength. This is a hard drill for uh, athletes of a lot of levels. Um, you know, leg strength, flexibility, where the athlete jumps, splits her legs, and then tries to touch her, uh, her hands to, to the toes. Um, uh, this is an upper body drill, very challenging. Uh, again, using the BOSU ball, um, you know, want to make sure the back stays straight. Uh, and this is a great uh, both major and minor muscle group exercise as the athlete has to balance their upper body. Uh, so there's a lot of, uh, you know, motion going on, uh, a little bit better than just a straight bench press. Uh, this is where the athlete just walks with weights. And, uh, uh, you know, these can be heavy weights. You want to make sure the, the upper body stays straight and they're not uh, hunching over as they, as they walk. Uh, on the, again, half BOSU ball, you know, uh, want to make sure knee tracks over toes, that the knees don't cave in as the athlete's going on, going down. And uh, again, um, you know, good flexibility in both major and minor muscle group exercise. The last thing is, uh, again, technique is important. Uh, knees track over toes, make sure the back stays fairly straight, um, and you know they, they want to make sure they land as lightly as possible. So all these are, are very simple and they might help you out in a conditioning circuit.